star in the middle, so I am golden. Ya a son to us people, so I am chosen. Born to a king and a queen, so I am royal. From me ohima of this land, they call me tribal, they don't know. All the treasures I possess. Mother Africa, my sweet mother, taught me best. Gave birth to Ghana, the first to possess. Freedom from its oppressors, the first in the West, the best. My name is Edna, and you're watching Carly TV. Today, today actually, we're celebrating Ghana's 59, um, 59th independence anniversary. And uh, this is an annual um, Ghana Independence Day Ball that is being organized by one of our brothers, Kobe Maxwell, who is a um, a musician, a movie producer, he's an entrepreneur, he's, he does everything in the community and so we're here tonight to support him. There is something about people in the diaspora, when they put events like this together, it not, it's not just about them. Most of these events that you go to, what is being raised out of these events are being used to help um, people that are back home in Africa. Like this event today, let me just take this event as an example, a lot of women, about 10 women, are being awarded for the good work that they are doing in the community. African women that are here in the diaspora that have been helping to, to make sure the community does not fall. That, like we were talking, somebody was awarded just now, that has been helping with breast cancer. Women are dying from breast cancer. Men are also dying from this thing. And so we have to talk about it. There are people who have been doing a whole lot and they're also going to help give micro-financial credits to women back in Africa for this particular event, it's particularly in Nigeria. So you see, when these events come up, we need people to come and support because what the, the organizers of this event make is not just for them. They, they are using that part of that money to make sure they help develop education in Africa, bring, uh, uh, develop clean water in Africa and, and a lot of other stuff. So there is an impact that these events are making. To me, it's a, a highlight of an accomplishment for a Ghanaian man or a Ghanaian entertainer, a Ghanaian celebrity, because I look at this man as a celebrity. This is something that the younger generation can look, look at and say, okay, us two can do this. We can learn from this man because he's making it easy for us to look at him, do this even though we know it's difficult. This is definitely educational, bringing your community together, bringing the family together, and letting the Ghanaian community know that you support them on their special anniversary. And at the same time, this is giving him opportunity to introduce his talents, you know, as a movie uh, producer, an actor, and a singer, and a songwriter. I mean, this man have so many titles, so this is something our children can learn from and the Ghanaian family can learn from and, and, and work towards to make their community or their lives better. He told me you would never make it. Chella, you be too dull, you can only fake it. So I started playing these games, never thought of the future, I just stayed in my lane. Then I just thought to myself, Baba knows my heart, I just said to myself, Chella, Chella, small, small, ego be, even if it takes months, my haters are gonna see. Vision, I am living, this is my life so I keep it pushing. It's a struggle just to make it in this game, chasing the bread and the paper just to get a little fame. Aim for success, beat, nothing less. Great is my name, I gotta put people to shame. I'm gonna take it to my wild man and talk. I'm gonna give you wild man. 